Hello guys, welcome back to another episode where I will be recording myself learning Polish. And yeah, it's been a journey so far and I'm enjoying the lessons that I'm getting. And let's just get into the video. I'm going to be learning again from the same channel as last time, Polish with Blondes. So please subscribe to their channel as well. So let's get into the video. Test. Welcome back to our Polish language lessons. Uh, in today's lesson, we will be learning the past tense of the verb to be. So we already have a lesson on the verb to be in the present tense. So this will be just like a continuation of that lesson. All right, mm -hmm. let's get straight into it. Zaczynajmy. All right, so let's start with going through the conjugations of the past tense of bitch, which is to be. Bitch. And we'll learn it bitch. together with the phrase na vacatiach, na vacatiach, which means on holiday. All right, so on when holiday. it comes to the past tense, bitch. we actually bitch have vacatia. both the masculine and the feminine form mm -hmm. um, of all the conjugations. So, byłem, byłam. Byłem. Byłeś. Byłaś. Oh. So, in the previous video, I unfortunately I didn't record it, but I was learning something about the present, present tense, and they were saying, like, if I want to say I am, I say yes, them, right? And it was written something similar to what I'm seeing on the screen right now. Like, as you can see, there's ya and then biwem or biwam. But there it was yes tem. So I'm assuming that yes tem will be the present for right now. And then biwem will be for the past, I think. Yes. So yes tem for now and BOM for for the past. BOM or BOM for the females. BOM for the past. Okay. Był, była. Był, była. Byliśmy, byłyśmy. Byłyśmy. Byliście, byłyście. And finally, byli, były. So if I were to say that I was on holiday, I would say byłam na byłam. wakacjach. Byłam so na wakacjach. Byłem. That's because byłem na I'm a woman, so I'm saying byłam. But if a guy was saying it, he would say byłam na wakacjach. Oh, so byłem, byłem na wakacjach. Um, and when you have a group of people who, um, when it's like a mixed group, both are women and men, mm -hmm. then we would say byliśmy. Beliśmy. Beliście, if you're actually addressing this group. Oh, okay. And let's okay. take it as... So, so, beliśmy is if I'm talking of, let's say, my group. Beliśmy. If, if we are a group of men, it's be, beliśmy. Is that so? Or, and if we... And it's if it's a group of women, it's be, be wish me. And if, if I'm addressing, let's say, a group of boys or men, it's be, be wish chi. Be chi. Be chi. Not be wish chi. Be chi. And then there's be wish chi. Okay. Step further now, and let's ask the question Were you on holiday? Were you on holiday? Were you on holiday? Which means it will be Biwash if it's if it's a if it's a man and Biwash if it's if it's a woman. So maybe Biwash Biwash Navakatsia. Biwash Navakatsia. Let's assume that you are asking a girl, mm -hmm. were you on holiday? How would you say that? Be, be wish. Just be, to give you a hint, uh, wish, maybe I have already wish. mentioned this in another, in another lesson, but when we start 
um, a question, it's always like a good habit to begin with the word ch. 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 So, so, so it will be ch. Ch. Biwash. Navakatia. Ch. Biwash. Navakatia. In Polish, we don't have the inversion like in English. So, were you on a holiday? The question is actually exactly the same as the answer. You were on holiday. So, that's why we're putting the tre in the front, just to make it clearer that it is a question. Oh, Although okay. you can also not use the tre, but just make sure that you get the intonation correctly. So, so, so it's either I have to say tre, tre biwash, tre biwash navakatia, or biwash navakatia, something like that. So it's either I add the che to make sure the person knows that it's a question. Che biwash navakatia. Or I have to change the tone. Biwash navakatia. Okay. So, che biwash. Che biwash navakatia. Che biwash navakatia. Czy byłaś na wakacjach? Or you can just ask, byłaś na wakacjach? Byłaś, byłaś na, na wakacjach? Okay. And if that person was answering the question, she would say, byłam na wakacjach. Tak, byłam na wakacjach. Aha, tak, był... In my case, it would be, byłem na wakacjach. Tak, byłem na wakacjach. Okay. And now, how would you say that she was on holiday? She was on holiday. So, here yeah, it should be ona. So, biwa. Biwa na vacatia. Biwa na vacatia. She was on holiday. Biwa na vacatia. Ona mm. biwa na vacatia. Yes, because ona is she. On is he. So the word for ona is biwa. Yeah, biwa na vacatia. Yes. Ona biwa na vacatia. All right, so we can also use this verb in the past tense together with adjectives to say things like I was tired, I was happy, and so on. So the word happy or content is zadovolona, zadovolone. Zadovolona, zadovolone. So to say I was happy, it will be biwem zadovolona. Biwem zadovolona. Right? Biwem, biwem zadovolona, biwem zadovolona. Or the neuter version, zadovolone. And in this case, we would choose between the masculine or the feminine when we're talking about people. So, how would you say, I was happy, biwem. or I was content? You can say either biwam or biwem. Or biwem. biwem zadovolona. No. So I would Zadovolone. say, byłam zadowolona. And I'm saying zadowolona because oh, zadowolona it has to match with byłam. So oh. they're both feminine, byłem uh, feminine genders. Zadowolone. How would you say, he was happy? Wait. He was... He, 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 he. For he is Bill. Bill. Bill zadovolone. Zadovolone. Bills are Is that so? Bills are On bill, zadovolone. On bill, zadovolone. Now oh, the word. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I left. I left on the on. So, so I think if I say bills are dovolone, it's like was happy, without saying he. So. On bill zadovolone. So for a for a girl, it would be ona 
Mbiwa Zadovolona. Okay. So I thought I thought if I just say Biwa, I don't need to say Ona for like I don't need to say Ona Biwa Zadovolona. I I can just say Biwa Zadovolona. But okay. I I, I get it. Tired. Zmenchona, zmenchone. Zmenchone. B Bwem Zmenchone. But why 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 can 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 I say ya bwem zmenchone from 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 the words that are there? And can I say ya bwem zmenchone? Or I just need to say bwem zmenchone. How would you say then? I was tired. Byłam zmęczona or byłem zmęczony. Mm -hmm. I can also say I wasn't tired. How do you think that would be? I wasn't tired. Aha. Uh -huh. So the word for no is nie, right? So I wasn't tired. Nye Biwam Zmenchona Biwam Nye or Wait, let's see. Let's see what, what to say. Z Nye Biwam Nye Biwam Nye Biwam Zmenchona Nye, not Nye Biwam Zmenchona And now the word for where in Polish Nye Nye Biwam Zmenchona Nye Biwam Gdzie 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 So to say where were you? You can ask Gdzie byłeś? Or Gdzie byłaś? Gdzie byłeś? Gdzie byłeś? Gdzie byłeś? What about if 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 there are more people so I can say Gdzie be belisci? Gdzie belisci? Does it make sense? How would you ask where were they? Ah, where were they? They They is oni or one. So it should be J Biwi. J Biwi or Billy. Right? Gje Oni Billy. Or you can say Gdzie one bywe. 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 Gdzie Pani była. Ty byłeś. Pan był. Ty byłaś. Pani była. Wow, so wow. Pan, there are pan a lot. The there are a lot of things. A lot of different ways you can say one thing. Wow. So I guess I just need to learn the one which is respectful. I can be respectful to everyone. Because it will be difficult for me to learn the informal one and the formal one. It's easier to just learn the formal and then transition into informal, I think. But there are a lot of different ways to say the same thing. I guess that's why Polish is a bit difficult. Because it's not just one thing. There are a lot of different... Like... We, like before we said it's... Gdzie biłeś? Or gdzie biłaś? Right? We didn't say, we did not say gdzie ty biłeś. But on the other part, we said gdzie oni biły. Or gdzie one biły. So sometimes we put, we put the 
only sometimes we don't i don't i don't really get get that do you decide to put it or are you the one who also decides not to put it not to involve it like from from these two statements like gj t biwe sorry gj t biwesh right but we didn't say gj t biwesh we said gj biwesh but why did we not say gj t biwesh is will it be correct if i say gj t biwesh just like i said gj oni biwe if if it makes sense that form just like uh ona była or on był and now instead of byliście you would say państwo byli or panowie byli <laughs> and instead of saying państwo byłyście byli. you would say panie były państwo byli panowie byli wow. panie były but this is I'm not so confused used right as now. often as you might think. Um, maybe pan bil, pani biwa is more common because usually you just address one person than like a group of people. Now, another way that we can use uh, the past tense I'm of so confused the right now. to be is uh, by adding the word tu or tutai, which tutai. means here. Tutai. Tu, tutai. Yes, I know tutai. So I've used it in, in, in an Uber before. I've, I've, I've heard like uber uber drivers saying two time and i kind of figured out that they were asking like here here should should i drop you here so they say oh you say two time two time so i've heard this word before i've heard it was here on he was here oh. bill two time on, on bill two time and she was Ondu, here two on a biwa two time. On a biwa you can also two time. switch the order around, just like I told you before, and you can say on a two biwa, on a two time biwa. <laughs> They're both. So, all I need to do is to make sure that all the words are there, regardless of the arrangement. Is that correct? Because now we are saying on a two time biwa, but before we said on a biwa two time. But it's also correct to say on a two time viewer. Yeah, so confusing. It's it's so Fine. confusing. Now think back to the lesson that we had on the days of the week. And I introduced you to some words like wczoraj, przed wczoraj, trzy dni temu. So wczoraj means yesterday. Wczoraj. Przed wczoraj, the przed wczoraj. day after yesterday. And temu means three days ago. So if I were to say that she was here yesterday, you would just add She was here yesterday. So ona ona biwa tutai fchurai. Ona biwa tutai fchurai o ona Tutai biwa wczoraj. Add the word wczoraj at the end of the sentence that we just ona, uh, practiced previously. So ona we would say biwa tutai. Ona biwa tutai wczoraj. Ona biwa tutai wczoraj. And now how would you say wczoraj. that he was here three days ago? Three days ago is what? Chidni temu. Chidni temu. So it will be o, on so this will be b b b b we on b we to tie che ni temu <laughs> i hope so on bill to tie Ah, uh, it's bill, not biwi. On bill to tie, three dni temu. On bill to tie, three dni temu. And if you've already watched the lesson on the months of the year, then you may be able to do this particular exercise. So, 
combining all that we've learned today, how would you say that she was on holiday in May? Okay, I didn't do the lesson about the months of the year, so I'll probably not know what the word for May is. But let me try the other words here. So she is on a yes on a on a um, vacatia on a on a but is it biwam or biwish a biwam or biwa on a biwa vacatia on a biwash vacatia Let's see. Ona biu. Ona biwa. Biwa na vacatia. Na vacatia. V mayo. V mayo. Ona biwa. Ona biwa. Na vacatia v mayo. Ona biwa na vacatia v mayo. V mayo. So that's everything for today's lesson. Uh, thank you for. Ona biwa na vacat na v mayo. Wow. This lesson was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of confusion in this lesson. I was so confused, but I managed to learn. I managed to learn the, the basics for today. And thank you for taking along. If you have something that, uh, if you have answers to some of the questions that I was asking during the lessons, you can also type them in the comment section below so that I get to read them and get more understanding. But until next time, please don't forget to subscribe to their channel. It's called It's called Polish for Learn Polish with Blondes. It's called Learn Polish with Blondes. Yes, Polish with Blondes. So just go there and give them a like and subscribe. And also like and subscribe on my video. Until next time.